would leave your debts unpaid. Enough of this! I can bear no more. You disappoint me, Gabranth. What? He trusted you. When you bared steel against the princess, you forswore your obligations to your emperor. You shame yourself and make mockery of Lord Lars's trust. You are unfit to serve him as sword or shield, and so I release you from that service. Your presence is neither required nor welcome. Gabranth! <laughs> You are only a tool of this Venar. How quaint. We are allies. The Acuria give men power as a master feeds his dog. It is meant to tame us. How well you've resisted their wile. By turning your back on their stones, you give us free hand to write our own history. And at what price? Damascus freedom for your nethesite? I shall not suffer you to have it. The sun crisp be damned. Oh, <laughs> be sure that it is. For what other purpose do you think you've brought us here? But, my lady, I would have you stay your Acurian sword. The sun crisp is glutted with mist, and so precious a thing must not be squandered. Let us use the stone. Finish this for now. Sight, cocoon of the sun crest, spill forth your mist upon this evil east. Let's see its sky be a wash in it that Bahamut may come and drink his fill. Brightly burned their lanthorn. Casts it back the shadow of a Curian design. Testament that man's history shall be his alone. You made your nether sight for this. You mimic the Acuria stone for what? To become a god yourself? On whose shoulders better to stand than those of the would-be gods? Ah, such high hopes I once had, but you ran and ran and played with you. Alas, the hour of your return is late. Come, family, revel in the glory of my triumph! 